the most cliche way to save the day. Black Swordsman Rio shows up. Whishing! So cool. Flora, you have a day you could never pay us back. Time's like, what, three, four now? She is such a pitiful character, just kind of just using, you know, being used by uh, Duke Hukdon. And there's some interesting things happening with this faction. Sir Hiroaki, he gives me feelings of Season 1 Natsuki Subaru. Very misguided, ignorant, arrogant, stupid, treats like a video game. But I think he's going to realize that this is not to be fucked around with. Like, they almost died. Like, Minotaurs and shit started to attack and he couldn't do anything. So maybe there's a lot of room for development and we shouldn't just, like, you know, just shit on him right now. I mean, I will shit on him when the time is appropriate, but, like, I think he's going to get better and have, like, actual good development. Alphas on Stewart didn't do shit. They can still suck my dick. Now, Arya was sick. That's Alote's, you know, um, main attacker. Race is obviously still just fucking puppeteering shit and just, I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to always, you know, start beef with everybody. Um, we're about to get the reunion with Ryu and a lot of people. I wonder if they'll recognize him. Let's begin today's reaction. It is. Neither did she. Remembers. Does Lotte not know us? Is she playing dumb or not realizing immediately? That's so funny how she says Haruto-sama, but she says Sir Ryo here. This is just Crunchyroll L, I think. But... Lotte playing dumb or she just genuinely doesn't realize that this is, you know, Ryo from before? Duke Hugnot. Lord Gustavo. I recognize you, but uh, identity will be revealed. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm just a random passerby. That's right, simple wanderer. Yeah, I definitely didn't disturb the royal wedding either. <laughs> I'm definitely not part of that. Nope, that wasn't me. Hmm, unaffiliated, he thinks. Lynchpin of memories. Hmm? Oh, she remembered us? She didn't remember, you know? Uh, Lotte didn't remember? Yeah, you! Was she not there? I swear she greeted us at the front, but we did spend more time with Chloe? I don't know. I swear Lotte was also there, right? Hello. Okay, the real one. Yeah, Lotte is when we bought the pasta for the first time, but the difference between Haruto and Ryo is literally light mode, dark mode with hair color. It's the same fucking facial structure. He did not change significantly as a human being other than his chroma color. It's a different skin he put on. It's the same too. <laughs> like, Lotte don't remember that shit. Okay, okay sure. Haruto to Oh my god, bro. You should be begging to get coached. What are you doing? Gigachadaria, lover. Oh, go back, go back. Play the subs! Okay. Ah. Just being a little cheeky, okay. Yeah, we already did it for you. Really? No, it's not. It's not, right? It's just his delusion, right? Heroic delusion. Fuck you, bring it from Re Zero. It's just, he, he thinks that he's a hero and he just talks confidently. Not because of some OP ability, right? There's no way, unless something is actually influencing him, but I thought it's just because of his own unawareness of, as a neat. What? What, Flora? Get out of here. I'm gonna save your ass again probably in the future. Oh, we're talking about the auto-translate shit? That makes a lot more sense. Rather than like the tone of the voice. Yeah, it was kind of hard to tell what the hell he was talking about there. Yeah, thank God we don't need to overlay his voice. Listen, I'm fine. He can auto-translate all he wants. We should have just poured it in with auto-translate. I can't believe we wasted four fucking episodes of a headache. Uh-huh. 
Pasta Girl, the CEO of Pasta. What? You got repair magic? Arya is great. Okay, this is when we found her. They're all glazing Arya. Even Race was glazing Arya. Okay, friends. Seria and Arya know each other. But it's like a fallen house, right? There's some shitty things that happened to Arya's noble, noble family. Okay. Oh. I'm after craftsman. Spirit art infused blade. Yo, she knows everything. Not quite, but it's different. It's spirit art shit. Ancient artifact class. Maybe this is true, but like, is it an enchanted sword? Well, we're enchanting it. We're imbuing it with our spirit art rather than it being like an enchanted sword through some other means. Enhance? Uh, what was it? Enhance ability something. Enhance physical ability. Okay. More girls to our harem. It's enchant, not enhance. Yeah, we got more girls that we're gonna ditch now. <laughs> we, got, we got more girls that can be added to the harem squad and we're just gonna ditch them and say, we'll visit you later. Everyone is curious. He is the guy. Have you? Come on, ladies. Fuck you, Stuart and Alphonse. Just for me. Just for me. They, they got the special shit out for us. Cause that making her moves. Okay. The other little girls. What the fuck? That's a super fancy, you know, bow. Holy shit. Cause that's pulling out her alt right now. <gasps> oh my god, it's a declaration of war here. Oh my god, Cosette, you slut! I can't believe you did that bow! Demure. Fancy. Is there a bunch of crude girls trying to pretend like they're demure? I like these rotes, you know, faction. They're very fun. Alright, the Minotaur sword that we kicked into the ground. Oh, Hiroaki? Oh, oh, oh! What if that ends up like killing some people? What, what, what if that ends up just making even more damage over there, bro? <laughs> but uh, he's really strong. Okay. This is the OP Isekai powers. Okay. My leg! Okay. Very OP magical energy. But uh, he doesn't know how to use it. Are you flexing? <laughs> you actually. But do you think we're competing right now? I don't even see you. Do you, 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 you think there's no rivalry here? What are you talking about? Oh, you, yeah, you got it. You got it. All right. Looking cool in front of the ladies all you want. Super Yulia's shit? Maybe, yeah. Maybe. I say Hiroki is doing a little bit better than Subaru. Oh, right beside Hubna. Gustavo. Lifetime supply of pasta. What? Huh? Oh. Oh. You. You gonna win that's gonna style this shit? You're talking about bare minimum madness right now? This fucking guy. I need Lotte's like inside like monologue of like. Holy shit, this, this kid can't be serious right now. You are the absolute fucking clown. You trying to tell me how to act? You trying to tell other people about manners and etiquettes after the shit you pulled off? 
Oh, thank you. I'm your fucking savior. Look at Lotte pissed off tired of this shit. Latifa. Thanks to Latifa. No more voice overlays. Oh my god. Thank god we can be done with that shit. Oh, it's his friends. The two boys. The shorter friends. Fuck it, I'm going fishing. Peace. You jealous that he got friends. She sucks. Both of them suck. No talent. You. You're not one of us. Fuck you, Aki. Maybe I'll regret this in the future. Maybe Aki has amazing development. I'm just pissed off at her because, you know, she just blames Haruto for the stupidest reason. But she's a stupid kid. It makes sense that a kid that's stupid would say these things. Okay. She gonna dry ass? The kids? I swear to God, if this is supposed to like... Is this Mimi's voice actor? I'm not sure, but I, I swear to God, if this is supposed to remind... Aki of Haru right now? Oh my god. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Where's the fucking food, bitch? It's an empty bowl. <laughs> Thank you for the air. Wow. Nom nom nom. In the air. Give me seconds. Give me seconds of air, please. Chew what, motherfucker? I know you're five years old. Ain't nothing to chew. Alright, alright. Right. This is their childhood, huh? Mm. We'll always, always be together, she says. You know that doesn't happen. And that's why she feels like Haru abandoned her. Haru abandoned Aki and Michan. Yep, because of the fucking divorce that a kid has no control over. Blame the dad! Blame the fucking dad! I'm a victim! Haruto is a victim here! How are you doing this? Bruh... She just zoned out the entire time. Uh oh. What happened to the boys? They were fishing. <laughs> Spawn is a slave. Latifa had it so bad. Oh, to Haruto, Haruto. Yeah, Uzuma isn't even here. Yo, Uzuma got forgotten. She Uzuma was like the one to start the fight, and then she just got forgotten. She's not even here anymore. Okay. And then they started shit. So many misunderstandings. You monster. Micha. What's he saying in this bed? Mi-chan. Mi-chan. Ah. <gasps> Nani? Getting a bit closer. Getting a bit closer to the truth of who Haru is. Okay, okay. Hmm, Latifa knows, but we're gonna... Oh, he's safe. The big ass fish. Uh oh. Land on Aki. Land on Aki. No! I wanted to see some fan service with the fish just flopping around everywhere on the girls. It's going to Michan. Yeah, I guess Michan's pretty talented at water stuff. Yeah. 
さっきの話の続きラティーファちゃんとハルトさんはここへ来る前はあおアキーズプロビングだねいやバスターええいやスリーフいろいろあったけど今日奴隷から解放してくれたのそしてこの里へ連れ We're just gonna casually forget that Latifa was an assassin. Cold blooded assassin trying to kill us. Just gonna forget about that. Well. Yeah, all those hard things, man. Oh. Betray? Betray? I hope that older bro and little bro says that they bet you betrayed them for leaving, bro. Out of something that you had no fucking control over. Now, we know that the older brother is a hero somewhere around here. She, he got summoned. Little bro is back on earth. Never mind. That little bro was Masato. Never mind. I'm losing fucking details of this show. Koki. What if he's an actual asshole, though? Because, like, they're really being secretive with this guy. He's still not shown. What if he's not a good person? What if he's always been a piece of shit the entire time, but hid his malice under this, like, white knight look? And with this newfound power, he's actually corrupt and just super evil. That would be interesting. I hope that he says, I never saw you as my sister. I just acted. I hope he bullies Aki, bro. Okay. Like, like, it could be something so corny. Like, the, the, the big bro there is actually evil and shits on, you know, Aki. And she's like, oh no, you're so evil, you're so mean. And then Haruto shows up and saves her from that evil. And then Aki will then have to inevitably face the ultimatum of like, yeah. Arto, you're a good person. Fuck. って嫌な気持ちになったり、まさとには怒ってばっかだし、全然ダメって心がいっぱいいっぱいになってるんだね。新しい生活で覚えることも楽しい。あ、スタップカトリングヘア。ラティファちゃん、私たち友達だもんね
And the soundtrack for this show is so good, though. Wow. Happy, happy. Yay. Everyone just wants to fucking show off for Oni Chan. Yo. This is the first time we're actually seeing the Proxia Empire. So far, we've just heard of it. We're actually in there now. Imperial capital, Nidgard, the emperor. <laughs> the, the most default fucking emperor pose. They, they always do this shit. <laughs> they always do this shit. You know who still had the best emperor pose of all time? Hold up. Like, let's see if I can pull a picture of this. Gate anime emperor. Bro, the emperor and Gate had a JoJo pose when he first showed up. Like, oh shit, here it is. <laughs> Yo, it's so much aura, bro. Look at that. Bro, he had so much aura. Look at him. Just look at that strut. Let him. He's like. <laughs> it's just like I remember seeing this for the first time and just dying. Because <laughs> he was just posing on us, bro. But all right. Let, let's see if this emperor is legit. Let, let's see if this emperor is a big brain guy or if he's just a puppet. Alright. Emperor Nidole. New characters. Also, if this guy is literally just calling the Emperor by his first name. The fuck? This isn't Lucius. Is he? Doesn't Lucius have brown hair? No, that is him. That's him! Whoa! I think that is him! Whoa, 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 whoa. I think that actually is him! I thought he could have been a hero summon, but that's Lucius. They don't want Duke Arbor to go down. Race. Race. Lucius loves eating jerky, huh? Lucius mentioned again. There he is, Race. 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 What's your plan, bro? Rio. Rio. Ah, Nidor-san's Lucius says the emperor's name by his first name. Race just bench the emperor. The Emperor so far just looks like another tool, a puppet. I'm not sure he's so legit based on this, you know, dynamic that's going on in this room. I think that's just bullshit there, huh? Rio. <laughs> we're doing this shit again. Really? Okay, we're gonna do this shit. Flora can't get kicked out, we're gonna save her again. How many times can you repeat this? You take Christina, bro. You know, Flora, take Christina, bro. What the fuck? Flora Poor Flora, man. Oh, boy. Here comes another fucking debt that she could never pay back onto the fucking, you know, the the, the overall balance that Flora has. So that's today's episode. Yeah, this show is actually so just... I guess it's predictable and cliche, right? But it's so fun. It's, it's like... It's, 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 the politics is interesting. It's, it's really fun, even though you can pretty much guess, like, what's about to happen. It took me a while to realize that this is Lucy's for a second, but it's like, holy shit, he is a man that just refers to the Emperor by his first name. Lucy's is a very, very important person, I guess, in the Proxy Empire. Didn't know that. Loved eating jerky. And Race, his grand plan, uh, kidnap Flora again. I'm sure Rio is going to save Flora, and this will be the encounter between Lucius and Rio, but seemingly Lucius's endgame villain, maybe, because it has to do with the revenge, unless the revenge will be settled already, and then we'll move on from that, but it's looking like we're gonna have the head-on-head, -head, you know, clash with Ryo. Aside from that, today's episode, uh, Hiroaki, this motherfucker, he's pretty funny. Hiroaki has no awareness, but, uh, he's super strong. He is super strong, and he has a lot of magic, and, you know, he got the auto-translate shit. Lotte and them, they're they're perfectly fine. They're, we're chilling. Duke Hugnot, you know, we've made contact with them. It's kind of suspicious because, you know, we've shown our face. But uh, we're going to try to remain as low as possible. Rest of them, it was then with Latifa and, you know, Aki and her feelings towards Haru and how 
Haru is the worst person ever for abandoning Nichan and Aki. But motherfucker, we're children and I parents got a divorce. Like my dad took me away. You blame me for this shit? Fuck you. But I hope your old, your other big brother, I hope he's mean to you. I hope he's a piece of shit and Ryo will step in and save you. But then like, I I'm not going to take your apology. Fuck you, Aki. That's it for me. If you're still here though, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.